to share a very personal story with you. A couple of years ago, I went out into my backyard and saw a little gray squirrel digging up the ground. I said, hey, gray squiggy, because that's what I called her, what do you want from me? She said, I want some nuts. I want those almonds, those pistachios, those walnuts, and those other assorted nuts too, but hold back on the salted ones. I said, hey, gray squiggy, I can't give you any of those. But the more I resisted, the more she persisted. So I threw her a handful. Go away, little squirrel. Stay away from here. I want girls, not squirrels. Try me again next year. So last year, this friend of mine brought me a little baby black squirrel who had fallen from a building. I called him Sammy. So I took care of Sammy and I fed him with a little eyedropper and he grew strong until one day he broke his leg. So I took him to the dock and the dock decided to put a cast on him for one whole month. Well, Sammy started to recover, but he never forgave me totally for putting that cast on him. So I said, Sammy, you sleep behind the stove. You fix your own little nest. I want nothing to do with this. Go away, little squirrels. Stay away from me. After about a month, the cast came off Sammy's leg. One day, he's looking at my window when a big raccoon comes by and frightens him. So I chased off the raccoon, and Sammy started to go out there and play with a few other squirrels. He had a little gray one in particular who was a good friend of his, they go along rather well. Once in a while, Sammy would even bring him back indoors for a little raccoon to show my house and out again. Not knowing how long this would go on for, I tried to get Sammy to be on his own that night. He did this. Place in the world, being a friend, 